This week's episode is brought to you with the support of Bureau Veritas. At Bureau Veritas, each and every one of us is by your side to help you navigate your decarbonisation journey and shape a better maritime world. This is Green Seas, the podcast by Tradewinds about the environment and the business of the ocean. I'm Eric Priante Martin, and today we're going to look at a stubborn problem oil discharges from ships at sea. Shipping has been in the news in Brazil, but not in a good way. Estamos de volta com pautas do dia, com outras informações. A gente começa este bloco agora com notícias aqui do Amapá. We're listening to CBN Amazonia, a radio network that covers the country's tropical north. What is believed to be an oil slick has been spotted off the coast of Amapá State. This is João Paulo Capobianco, the executive secretary of Brazil's Federal Environment and Climate Change Ministry. Trata-se de uma suspeição de feição de óleo sem confirmação registrada em setembro de 2023. He says there's a suspicion of a discharge of oil, which is yet to be confirmed, that was detected in September 2023 in international waters. The agency IBAMA, the federal government's Environment and Resources Institute, is studying the case, and it's in contact with the country's navy to identify the ship that may have discharged the oil. Authorities began investigating after the Arayara Institute, a Brazilian nonprofit group, raised the alarm about a sheen that stretched 170 square kilometers. Working with SkyTruth, which uses satellite data to spot pollution, the group said the source of the sheen appears to be a Panamanian flag ship. But while the incident has made headlines in Brazilian and international media, it's not a one off. Major oil spills from ships are thankfully infrequent compared to when I started reporting about shipping 15 years ago. But accidental and intentional discharges are a persistent problem in our oceans. Extrapolating from what its recently launched Cerulean monitoring system has found so far, SkyTruth estimates that some 18.7 million barrels of oil are discharged every year from shipping. John Amos, SkyTruth's chief executive, told me the slick spotted off Brazil is a very typical oily discharge from a large moving vessel. And this was not at all uncommon. Uh, we see slicks like this on a daily basis around the world. Amos founded the nonprofit SkyTruth 20 years ago after spending a decade as a geologist who used satellite imagery and remote sensing technology to create exploration studies for energy and mining companies. But then he became convinced that climate change and other environmental issues were problems that the same technology could help solve. The organization has grown to a team of 16 people, including data scientists, computer programmers, and remote sensing specialists to do just that. Its newest tool on that mission is Cerulean, which combines that technology with machine learning and ship tracking data from automatic information systems, or AIS, that broadcast the locations of ships. Cerulean addresses a problem that has personally vexed me since my very earliest days of looking at satellite imagery uh, more than 30 years ago. Um, and uh, I would be looking at satellite images of the ocean and I would see these long, dark, unexplained oil slicks out in the ocean in many places around the world. And uh, it was pretty clear that these were oily discharges from moving vessels, big ships, cargo ships, tankers. And it seemed like this was wrong. <laughs> this was a kind of egregious chronic form of pollution that nobody was aware of, right? Because if it's happening more than 20 miles offshore, it's kind of below the horizon and out of sight until that nasty oil slick a couple of days later washes up on your beach and clobbers your local fishing grounds and brings your local tourism industry to a halt. And this routinely is happening to this day around the world. Now, as satellites capture AIS signals from ships around the world and oil slicks are spotted from satellite imagery, Cerulean can combine that information to figure out which vessel is likely to be the source of a pollution incident. In the case of the one making headlines in Brazil, whatever vessel was the source had passed off the edge of the satellite image by the time the suspected oil slick was visible. But by analyzing AIS data, SkyTruth identified the PVT Sunrise as the likely source of the pollution. The chemical tanker is controlled by Petro-Vietnam, 
The Vietnamese oil company did not respond to my requests for comment. Amos told me that the vessel's track aligned very closely with the slick. From our perspective, it was a very high confidence match. Now, caveat, it's not a 100% sure thing, partly because not all vessels are broadcasting AIS that should be. There are lots of dark vessels operating on the ocean. The number of dark vessels not broadcasting their location is proliferating at the moment, as ships that operate in trades subject to sanctions turn off their AIS systems to obscure their activities. And Amos said SkyTruth also can't be 100% certain about what the sheen was made of. Was it hydrocarbons or was it vegetable oil residue? In the case of this spill, the Ira Yara Institute has used Cerulean data to urge Brazilian officials to find out answers. One of the intents with Cerulean is to make all of this information available for free, as easy as possible for um, people like Araya, you know, who are in a position to start asking some hard questions and hopefully get some good answers to those hard questions, to give them what they need to start raising a hue and cry about this pollution problem, this too long ignored pollution problem out in the ocean. I wanted to find out from Amos what he'd like to see from governments and international regulators to tackle the problem of oil discharge from ships at sea. He said there are highly capable, commercially available data platforms already out there to find out this information. So there's no excuse for um, coastal governments to not be aware of this problem. And, you know, with the ability to buy commercial satellite imagery to fill in some of this data gap that SkyTruth has to deal with, you know, they should be able to, to have a much better measurement of how bad the problem is, at least in their own territorial waters, and, and who the perpetrators are. And so more intentional, concerted government action on just um, knowing how bad the problem is and making that information transparent and available to the public rather than kept secret in some government agency, which is where it sits now. But he said, you also have to think about why ships might be dumping oil at sea. One problem is a lack of port facilities to discharge waste fluids and treat them. And shipping companies under pressure to deliver cargo on schedule are penalized for diverting to deal with that. And if you can just discharge it out in the ocean and have a good chance nobody's going to notice or tie that to you, you know, it's a business decision to make. So figuring out what needs to happen to change that equation and at least remove the incentive for this discharge to continue happening, I think that's the next step. Here's more on the environment and the business of the ocean. AP Moller Maersk, the Danish container giant, has become the first shipping company to have its climate goals validated by the Science-Based Targets Initiative. The company is aiming to achieve net zero by 2040. Tradewinds look at the case of a chief engineer in prison in California who's challenging his conviction for false entries in a ship's oil record book related to dumping oily water at sea. His lawyers are challenging the power of U.S. prosecutions in such cases, arguing that pollution incidents in international waters are a matter for a ship's flag state to tackle. Shipping companies and environmental groups have welcomed new climate targets by the European Union. The European Commission has proposed the goal of cutting greenhouse gas emissions by 90% by 2040. Read these stories and more at tradewindsnews.com. Music for this episode is by Pump Up the Mind on Pixabay.